What's the one thing you wish you had more of, but you cannot buy? Time. It doesn't matter how rich you are, you can't buy more time. And yet, we at the Vinderij have made that possible because we found a group of people that is exactly the opposite of you. They are time rich, but money poor. The people I'm talking about are students. My name is Anne. I am co-founder of the Vinderij. We connect students to households for help at home. So you earn more time and they earn more money. Here you see the city of Amsterdam and all these numbers are students in our network. And we are bigger than just Amsterdam. Across the Netherlands, we have over 16,000 students in our database. They babysit, they clean houses, and for elderly people, they provide help and company. These three services cover over 80% of all the tasks that households want to outsource. In the Netherlands alone, over 1 million households need help at home. Every year, they spend together two and a half billion euros to outsource home tasks. We've built a platform where these households and students find each other. Every month, more than 500 new users subscribe to our platform, almost all by word of mouth. Students join for free and clients pay 8 euro 50 per month. In 2015, we generated a net revenue of 140,000 euros. This year, we are set to double that to over 300,000 euros. As the numbers show, we are building a strong business. However, we've done much more than creating a platform. We've created a community by connecting students and clients on a personal level. Robin is a very creative person, and she is babysitting kids who love to make all kinds of crafts. Alice loves dogs, but she cannot have one at her student room. That's why she likes to clean the house of Pierre and Wendy, and especially their dog, Passa. Bob and his student, Mirt, are both music lovers. Normally, Bob takes Mirt to classic concerts. This time, Mirt took Bob to a rap concert in the Heineken Music Hall. And that's how generations inspire each other. We have hundreds of stories like these. Bringing all generations in society together is not only a good business, it also creates social impact. If you look at today's society, we all feel very connected to the internet and our digital devices. But on a social level, we are more disconnected than ever before. We don't know our neighbors, we don't talk to strangers on the street, and we spend more time behind the screen than face to face with other human beings. Our mission is to make society social again by creating interaction between those neighbors, strangers, and different generations. Through this impact, we have won several prizes. Got a lot of media attention. And even our king, someone's brother, came to our office to talk about our work. <laughs> so what makes us unique compared to any other platform for help at home? We focus on personal matches. We work only with students, smart, energetic, caring young people that match very well with every generation, from young children to elderly people. We create long-lasting relationships. Through our platform, you find a student who stays with you for several years. We've created a strong community where you easily find another student whenever your own student is not available. Last but not least, we don't want to send just anyone to your house. Trust is the most important thing for help at home. That's why we screen our students on six levels, including their identity, a personal intake at our office or by Skype, and referrals of other clients. Well, I founded the company together with my sister Lotte. We started when we were students ourselves. 
Today, our team is seven people strong, and we are working hard on expanding it by hiring developers to get the right technical knowledge on board. And very important, we are backed by world-class mentors and our very experienced advisory board. So let's have a look at our goals for this year. The clients are very happy with the matchmaking we do. But on top of that, they want more. Because what happens after a match is made? Clients have to arrange a lot when the student comes to work every time again. They have to ask their students who is available. They have to instruct the student what to do. They have to count how much they have to pay. They have to go to the ATM to get the money. They always overpay the student because it feels stupid to ask for change. This all costs a lot of time and money. That's why we are going to expand our service by launching an app this summer. The app will cover all these things, planning, instructing, and paying the students. For this time and money saving service, we only ask 10% on top of the hourly fee. Our second goal for this year, we want to become the biggest and best community for personal help at home in the Netherlands. Next year, we want to take the first steps to expand internationally. We will start in Brussels, Berlin, and Paris. Based on these goals, we expect a revenue of 2.5 million euros in 2017 and 10 million euros in 2018. To realize these goals, we originally needed 300,000 euros. The good news is that we already have commitment for double the amount. But this doesn't mean that we don't want to meet you. A new funding round will be opened early 2017 to continue our international expansion. And now I know you're all thinking, De Vinderij, you want to go international with that name? Seriously? We've had this question raised by many of you in the last three months, and we have listened. And that's why you are the first to hear our new international name. As of now, our company will be known as Caribou. <laughs> we care together, and we would be happy to meet anyone who wants to join our journey to build Caribou into an international company with real impact by connecting all generations in society both today and tomorrow, and make us all a little more time rich. Thank you.